The United States opioid crisis has shifted and evolved over time, and so have the efforts to address and manage the crisis. You are here today to learn what patients need to know about prescription opioid discussions with healthcare providers. Our first two video series provide information about what opioids are, the terms related to opioid misuse, and about how opioid misuse can affect daily life. We encourage you to view these first two series prior to starting this series. Healthcare is a large industry with many rules meant to keep people safe. There are rules that healthcare providers have to follow when taking care of patients who experience pain. These rules are updated as healthcare providers and researchers learn more about pain management options. Not every patient feels pain the same way, which is part of why it can be difficult to treat. Opioids were once thought to be a great solution for almost any type of pain management. Opioids have been a key tool to treat short-term, severe pain throughout medical history. Though the risk for opioid misuse and dependence has been known for some time, new types of opioids made available in the 1990s claimed to reduce opioid dependence risk. At the time, healthcare providers were encouraged to prescribe opioids for many kinds of pain. The current opioid crisis came about at the same time as claims that new opioids were safe from dependence risk. There are still valid reasons to prescribe opioids for short periods of time, yet we now know that anyone who takes opioids is at risk of becoming dependent on them. Patients and healthcare providers are therefore encouraged to be much more cautious about prescription opioid use. Through this module, you have learned how opioid prescription use in the healthcare system has changed over time. Please click to the next video to learn ways to have open discussions in the patient-provider relationship.